Today I'm going to show you how to work with the rebar tag and the rebar annotation in Revit. There is a difference between annotation and tag, but both the tools are coming under tag only. So I'm going to show you how it works. Watch this video till the end so that you will get a better idea. Um, so for a better understanding, I would like to take a copy of this rebar to here. Uh, let me select this uh, foundation propagate rebar then align to host select and then we have to finish okay finished okay so we have the rebar now okay so if i take a section oops it's not uh, visible let's go for uh, sections okay Let's take a section. Right click, go to view. And uh, this looks like this. Okay, so we don't need to see whatever is there in the front. So just to limit our R clip to 200. This is a U shape rebar and a perpendicular rebar. Okay, so here I'm supposed to annotate this rebar. So I'm going to show you how it works. Let's go to annotate and then so I have to take a tag, tag by category. I can select, I can show you how it looks when I'm selecting the foundation and if I select the rebar and you can see how it looks okay I can just move the rebar tag I can just move the rebar tag now I have to annotate this rebar. Okay, this rebar. This is also a rebar set. I have to take a rebar tag. Then I'm just uh, have to select the rebar. Now you can see this rebar comes like this. Okay, with a single leader, and it comes like this. In case if you want to show the number of rebar then you can just change the tag by type so here if you go so we have rebar specially used for the plan and in the section so we have a section rebar tag and plan rebar tag if i select here you see there is no dif much difference um, but if you go to the top you can see m rebar tag you can uh, you can use a different uh, type quantity and type so 9 bar and uh, 12 dia bar and the rebar mark is 04 so rebar number uh, otherwise you can go with the quantity type spacing and the rebar mark so it is up to you what you want to use so you can you can use however you want okay this is called a rebar tag okay this is just a tag so in case if you want to show another leader you can add another leader see here so you can add another leader just adjust the shoulder and it will look like this now let's go to plan if i go to a plan let's go to a plan level one or let's go to a plan this is a plan okay so i have taken a section so here this is the plan in the plan we can change the detail level if i keep this in course mode and you can see so this is a vertical rebar the set of rebar is there we can see the layout and the spacing 
and we have horizontal tree bar and we can see the layout and spacing okay so in case if you want to show all the rebar line you can show otherwise you can just uh, change the presentation okay select none and select just one bar and then finish okay so this is a rebar now i'm going to tag this rebar if i go to uh, rebar tag and uh, you can see this is how it looks but this is not the way how do we uh, mark a rebar right so you need to use a rebar annotation tool if you go to annotate and here we have a annotation tool linear multi rebar annotation and aligned multi rebar annotation there is two type so you can see the difference the it is same like um, linear dimension and annotation dimension so when you are um, selecting the rebar it will give you uh, the rebar type okay so in case you can see here this is aligned multi rebar annotation linear multi rebar annotation okay so there is not much difference uh, between these two so we can take uh, aligned uh, rebar annotation and i'm going to select just one click i'm going to select with one click and you can see this is coming with the arrow mark and it it comes with the tag actually this annotation is a combination of a dimension and a tag if you select the annotation if you go to edit type you can see there is a tag family and a dimension style so if you want to show the dimension text you can you can show the dimension so in case if you don't want to show the dimension you can just uncheck the dimension so, so you can also choose the dimension style so this dimension style holds the um, arrow mark and the line style everything okay and the tick mark everything so in case if you want to change you can change the dimension style and you can see how this is changed and we also have a group matching tag head so in case if it is unchecked then we get nine tags so if it is same rebar then we should get the same uh, tag a single tag is enough bro so we can just uh, group match the tag head so that we get only one tag single tag we get and we get the quantity also okay so this is about the annotation so here so we have uh, two types one is to be used for section another one to use in our plan so we are in the plan let's change the type and uh, this is the rebar tag so in case if you want to move the tag then just tab and then select then you can move you can keep it here or here you can keep in case if you want to show just a single uh, rebar and if you want to show the range and a tag then you can do that i will show you how it looks select the rebar set then go to presentation and then check none and then just to select uh, a single bar and then finish so now i have only one rebar so this is showing the edge rebar with a tick mark and also showing a tick mark at the bar location and we have the tag just a tab and select so when you tab and select you can just select the tag okay so this is the dimension this is dimension and this is tag so both are combined as annotation now you can just move and you can place here so this is little tricky we can just move here so in case if you if you're facing any difficulty then you can just uh, select and remove the leader line 
so that you won't get any shoulder line then just a nudge up and then just keep it there that's it okay so for this one also so we have given a tag rebar tag so we have given annotation tag by category so i have given the tag now i'm going to give an annotation rebar annotation uh, let's go to annotate then take rebar annotation align to multi rebar annotation you can take anything okay so this will this will show the difference if the rebar location is uh, in a different angle otherwise it will look the same select and then select the rebar you can see how it looks then just to place the rebar select and change the type okay so we have different type it's all preset we don't have to create a new rebar tag so we can just use whatever is existing so now you know tag and select uncheck leader line then just move to the location and you can see just leave it there that's it in case if you want to show um, the bottom bar and the top bar then um, you can do the same but you have to make sure that it is top bar or bottom bar okay you can show the difference with an other parameter all right so now we know how to show a rebar tag in a plan and in a section so especially when it comes to beam then the rebar tag is totally different because it comes with the stirrups right so here the top top rebar should be a set and the bottom rebar should be a set so i can show you the difference if i if i take a new section then i can show you uh, more clearly so let's take this section so i'm going to take a section here let's go to view so this is my beam right and uh, i'm going to select the beam then go to rebar now i can choose the bar and uh, i can i can also choose the set so i need just a fixed number just a two number i need in case if i need three then i can use three so you can see here so top rebar going to be a different set and the bottom rebar going to be a different set let's say i need a three rebar for the bottom okay so let's say three rebar and i'm going to place it at the bottom so now i can just um, annotate so before annotating let's add a stirrups go to annotate uh, sorry let's go to um, structure rebar then go to placement extend to host then here select um, stirrups then just add here so it looks kind of weird let's uh, change the plane plane current work plane then add okay okay so this is what i need once i add it's going to snap to the stirrups location okay so now i have to annotate okay now let me show you the difference between the rebar tag and the rebar annotation okay for example i'm going to going for top or rebar and uh, i'm going to annotation i'm going to take a tag this is a rebar tag okay just to take a tag and then you can you can see here this is highlighting just one bar even though it's a set it's highlighting just a one bar and uh, so it's vertical let's keep it as horizontal and you can see this is a rebar tag so in case if you want to show the numbers you can surely show the number uh, quantity space it's just a two number two number 12 dia bar 
bar mark is 1. So in case if you want to show uh, leader to both the rebar, then you can add tag. You can add a leader. You can you can add a leader, and uh, it's going to look like this. Okay. In case uh, if you want to keep it as horizontal or this way, you can you can do that. In case um, if you want to use um, annotation tool, I'll show you the difference. This is a tag. So now I'm going to take annotation tool to so go here. Let's take multi rebar annotation. Then you can see here when I highlight one rebar, it's going to highlight the full set. When I click here, and you can you can see how this looks. It comes with the arrow mark. And a tag. So, this is a major difference between a tag and an annotation tool. If I use the same for the bottom rebar, I'm going to select the annotation, create similar, and then I can. Select and I can place. Now I have to move the tag. So instead of giving tab and select, I can directly select the tag and then I can just uh, move it down. In case if you don't want the leader line, you can remove the leader line. So that will remove the um, shoulder, but still you have a line. Okay, so in case if you want to keep it uh, in, in, in line, you can just do that. Just to keep it in line. That's it. So let's go for a stirrups. So now I'm going to use a tag. I'm going to highlight the stirrups. Now you can see this is for the section. In case if you want to show with the spacing, you can do that. So this stirrups um, has number. Let's change it to maximum spacing 200 center to center. And here you go. So that's all about this video. In case if you want to use an annotation tool for the stirrups, see here you can't select. You can use the annotation tool the section but not for the stirrups. All right. I hope now you understand how to use a rebar tag and rebar annotation tool in Revit. And you should also learn how to create your own tag for rebar and how to create your own rebar annotation in Revit. So that we'll see in the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.